Welcome to the series premiere of Hypixel Notice. In this occasional series, I'll go over recent changes, announcements, surprises, and whatever else happens that involves the Hypixel server and talk about what I think of them. For today's edition, some of the entries are a little bit late, but that's only because I was just gone for a whole week and I couldn't talk about it. It's important to note that, unlike most other Hypixel news type series, this series will not focus on other content creators whatsoever. It will only focus on happenings that have to do with the server as a whole. What's going on everyone? It's your favorite blue guy here and today we've got five big changes to go over but before we begin make sure to subscribe if you haven't already especially if you want this to be a more frequent series on the channel i'm also hosting a rank giveaway that's lasting the entirety of the summer we got about another month to go if you want to enter and haven't yet just click that annotation in the top right corner starting off with our first announcement today and probably the most noticeable one is the addition of a brand new game mode to the prototype lobby called dropper yeah it's a dropper mode for those that don't know what a dropper mode is, here's a better explanation. You're way high up, and below there's a thing of water, or cobwebs, or whatever stops your fall. The goal is to drop all the way to the bottom, all the while avoiding obstacles that are in your way, and reach the cobwebs or the pool of water to win. It's a popular Minecraft map series from way back in the day, and it's even been featured in Minecraft tournaments like MC Monday. As far as I've noticed, there doesn't seem to be too much that helps this dropper mode stand out from others. You vote on maps at the beginning, and then you fall, and then first to complete all five wins. I've played a few rounds of this and some people might knock it for being yet another already existing game or just moved to the server, but quite honestly, I had more fun with this than I've ever had with games like War Wars and Pixel Painters especially. Y'all had a heads up about this potentially being added a while ago, so don't be all surprised about it. I think Dropper has earned its status as an official Minecraft-wide game mode. I guess we'll see what potential future updates bring to it, but for the moment, consider Dropper a wild card. This is yet another game mode that came from the mixed bag that is the Admin Developer Game Jam, which also brought us War Wars and Pixel Party, among other things. Speaking of Pixel Party, let's move on to our second announcement of the video. In the very same dropper announcement thread, we get a little blurb at the end which details the future of Pixel Party. So I initially saw this and I was excited because I believed that the game mode was finally going away. I'm pretty sure I've said something about this before and I actually once planned to make a standalone video on this game mode, but Pixel Party is one of the few game modes out there that I really think is just a stain outright. I still consider it to be one of the worst PTL games modes out there and not just for gameplay reasons. I've always held this firm belief that Hypixel just outright stole this game mode in bad taste from Hive. Look man, I'm okay with taking inspiration from other game modes and even having game modes like Dropper, which are and were already on multiple servers in the past, including Hive. But look, Hypixel tried to claim with Pixel Party that this is theirs and that they only tried to pay tribute and showcase their love for the Hive game mode. And when a former Hive developer who worked on the game has to come along and disprove that claim, I think that tells you all you need to know right there. It just left me in a really sour mood and I haven't viewed the game in a positive light since. In this little announcement, however, it's revealed that not only is Pixel Party not going away, but that it's going to be updated more and be moved out of the prototype lobby in a quick timeline. Two things you never want to hear side by side are underway and relatively fast. Quick work is never usually the best work. The timeline stated is early August and I'm sincerely hoping that the absolute most that happens here is it just gets moved to arcade. I swear, if Pixel Party becomes its own game mode, it shouldn't. Some part of me feels like there's a chance it might, but look, realistically, it shouldn't. Move it to the arcade, never touch it again, and let it sink into the abyss. Next up on the list is housing. Housing isn't a mode I spend a lot of time in, but I thought this was important enough to include. No new content specifically, but we got a bunch of bug fixes. Feel free to pause if you want to read all of them. Included with this is a new command, slash report house, that will allow you to report any housing right then and there without having to tediously open up a menu and find the option. Now all that's left is to make it easier to report builds in all the builds battle game modes, and I think the server as a whole will have the most efficient method to reporting cheaters, rule breakers, etc. Next, we move on to Skyblock. Alpha is opened again. We got some stuff to break down here. Fair warning, I'm gonna go into full got called on in school but didn't read the textbook so gonna wing it mode here. This alpha release came with quite a bit, but the two that stood out to me the most were the Hex and Shen's Auction. From the description, the Hex seems to be a shop for upgrading already maxed out gear. I don't know if this is along the lines of prestige levels or if it's like the stars for dungeon gear, but it seems to be more of an endgame player's edition, as does the next big change, Shen's Auction, described as an auction house for endgame players. It promises to sell cool items and resets every skyblock year. You'll also be required to have certain museum ranks once this auction goes public. I'm really curious as to what kind of items are going to be sold in this auction. Also for these changes, I thought it would be a bit funny to point out the... <laughs> 
the nine Java releases at once, as well as the mention that balances were added to the main game, but you don't get to know what they are, lol. Finally, staying on the topic of Skyblock, we got a bombshell announcement for those auctioneers. The auction house was down for a little bit, but has since come back up with the game changing, well, change, that the 32-bit integer limit is no longer in effect for bids. Now, what does that mean? Well, remember how the highest you could sell your items on auction was around 2.1 billion coins? That's no longer the case. The new limit for bids is now 10 billion coins. That's quite a difference, I must admit. It costs 100 million coins to put something up for that amount, and this is definitely going to have some impact. The change only just came out today as of the time I'm recording this, so whether that change is going to be huge or not isn't really officially known yet, but I think overall this is a good thing. I'm gonna miss the funny auction meme number, but it will forever live on. Go on and profit, Skyblock Auctioneers. Well, that is all for today's edition of Hypixel Notice. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Which piece of news has you the most excited? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to download my texture pack, link is in the description. Have a stupendous afternoon, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace! Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Like him, inside and outside.